Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to chapter 5 of NBA Live 18. Now, I did get a tweet from James Harden letting him know like, Hey bro, you doing your thing right now. You looking good. But I had to get on the horn with my boy Nick Howard because we are putting in that work, man. The post from James Harden just made our heads even bigger. And me and him just got to talking. I said, you know what? I agree with this dude, man. This is about to be crazy, bro. So right now, we're about to open up another box. Just showing you guys what it's like to open up these boxes. When the actual live demo and game drop, I will be focusing on points and street hype, all right? Just wanted to let you guys know that offhand. Now, since this is early gameplay, I got to show you these boxes, man. I got to show you what it takes to open up these boxes. You feel me? And these boxes are pretty lit. So, I get a leg tattoo out of this one, man. Hey, who would ever thought your boy would be tatted before he even got to the NBA? Look at that. Looking good. Tatted, baby. Yeah, yo. <laughs> hey, man. But I hope you guys are enjoying this episode so far. We are about to hop into the Drew League versus James Harden. What's up, fellas? Nice run to something. Hope you don't mind. Had a few friends stop by. You know, just to make it interesting. That's who. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to go up against the Monstars right now, bruh. I'm going up against LeBron James, James Harden, DeMar DeRozan, PG, and Drummond, dog. This is crazy. And they gave me a bunch of people that I don't even know right now, but I get the rebound, get my punch blocked bad. But one thing that I can say, man, we got Kawhi Leonard. We got the homie JaVel McGee. So I think we got a chance, man. Me and Nick coming out here, man. Hopefully we can get these buckets up. Now I pass it down, he passes it back, I pull up in his face, and you know that's not cash. I don't even know what I was thinking right there. I'm just thinking, you know what, if I can get hot, maybe I could have a chance. But you never know in this game where getting hot might get you. Now they get the rebound, Drummond puts it back up, misses, Kawhi Leonard with the rebound. I'm out on a break, ain't nobody else out on a break, but I don't call for it because I ain't that selfish. I'm calling a nice little pick and roll, and oh my goodness, who was that? Trevor Reza, you old son of a gun. Look at that. We got Trevor Reza on our team. Ain't that something? But LeBron James bringing the ball down. Passes over to DeMar DeRozan. DeMar doesn't know what he wants to do with it. Oh, my bad. He wanted to throw the alley-oop on my head. <laughs> man, this game is crazy. But I'm trying to put Harden in the spin cycle, and it ain't working, man. I'm just getting blocked, blocked, bliggity, bliggity, blocked out here, bro. While he doing that. Come on, LeBron. Really? Why they out here treating us like we scrubs, man? Come on, man. Let's go, JaVale. That's what I'm talking about. Rolling to the basket. Ooh, big man dunk right there. Hold up. I might have to utilize him. I ain't even think about that, man. This dude's so tall, so big. Why not? But, oh, my goodness. Did you see Kawhi Leonard take that off the backboard? But, Jesus. And, oh, my God, the step back. What is you talking about, LeBron? Hand down. Man down. Don't you come running out here all late. Wrong with you. But did y'all see the one for four, though? I ain't even going to talk about that, though. <laughs> but, yo, they tried another alley-oop, man. It didn't work. But, oh, my God, I just got dunked on by Drummond. Watch out below, brother. Now, seven to six, I got the ball. Calling for the nice little pick and roll, man. Me and McGee have to link up more often. Pass to McGee with the clock winding down, and he gets the bucket over Harden. Just to let you guys know, NBA Live 18, the rise does not count fouls. So, if you looking for the foul... You're looking somewhere you ain't supposed to be looking. Now, right now, I thought I was playing great defense until he hit that three in my face. <laughs> Andy, Andy little B-Sauce got me, by the way. Did y'all see that, though? But we're going to call another pick and roll. Let my man roll to the basket. Easy buckets. That's what we looking for. Easy buckets. I'm going up against the Monstar, so I have to play real cheesy right now, man. I'm sorry. Now, I got the switch, and I'm thinking I'm about to go somewhere. And did y'all see that? I See, now, when I was playing this game, I was yelling, like, where's my effing foul? But, you know, they just don't do that. And, oh, my God, PG need to be called for a foul for that play. He ain't have to dunk on that man like that. Like, that was so disrespectful right there. Now, I'm calling for another pick and roll right here. This time, I'm using Kawhi. Dump it down to Kawhi with the bounce pass. If you don't get your lazy behind up, Drummond, what's wrong with you, man? Now, it's 13 to 11. 
James Harden, he just looks like he want to sauce me so bad right now. But PG-13 with another poster, baby, for the tie. Oh, man. This game going to be harder than I thought, man. PG coming down, pulling up. I don't know why he pulled up, but LeBron and DeMar DeRozan are added on the boards, man. How they get back down court so fast? But we slowing it down here, man. It's 13 to 13. I'm going to call a nice little pick and roll. Psych. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch me posting real quick. Mm, psych. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let him post up. Hey, Drummond, you're getting body, by the way. My man JaVel McGee got eight points already, dog. Now, check out LeBron setting the screen for their Golden Goose, man. PG-13 to the rack with the right. What happened to defense, Trevor? Trevor, you're getting, mo you're getting molly whopped out here, sir. What's going on? But Kawhi Leonard bringing the ball down, pass it to your boy. You know what I'm about to do, man. I'm about to go to work, passing it right to McGee. <laughs> That's all I know. Work, 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 work. JaVel McGee is five foot five. <laughs> Now, I'm playing good defense, I thought, until I got screened there. Now, I just opened this up for a can of worms right there as Drummond just goes in. I don't know what that dunk animation was, but, hey, man, I'll take it, man. But I get the ball back up top. It's 17 to 17. Call another screen, let him slip it. Pass it down to McGee, and the McGee is getting buckets, baby. Let's go, man. It's 19 to 17. We get the rebound. JaVel McGee is hot. I could go to him here, but you know I always want to be the hero. I don't care what you guys say, man. I kick it back to Kawhi. I call for it. Give him a little pump fake, a little jab. Where you at, Harden? Where you at, Harden? Oh, you about to get screen? You about to get screen? Hold up. Clock winded down. Clock winded down. I pull up and bang all in your face, Harden. Hey, man. Good to see you balling again. You have all the tools. Just keep working hard and play your game. I'll be watching you this year. He's done it for you in the NBA draft. Hey, man, all I can say is, man, I hit a shot in James Harden's face, bro. I got to be like a 70-something overall, bro. But this is literally the play of the game. Like, dude got dunked on so bad that they ain't know what they wanted him to do. Call for a foul. They don't want him to lead a game. Wanted him to take his shoes off, throw him in the crowd. They don't know, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. We got a cutscene coming. Make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on notifications. Make sure you like the video. I thought I did my thing, man. I came out here, got a couple buckets, got a bunch of assists to JaVel McGee. And my hype is going up. But I'm going to see you guys in the next one, man. 12 points. God damn. Hey, I'll holla at you guys, man. Peace. After a summer playing street ball and pro-am games, you head back to school for your junior year. From the first week on, you have a spectacular season. You mounted an incredible comeback that few thought was possible. The reporters, the scouts, and the coaches all see your potential. Not only the potential to play in the NBA, but the potential to be a star in the league. And at the end of the season, there's little doubt about where you're headed next. Stephen A., it is one thing to come back from a catastrophic knee injury. That's hard enough. But there is a consensus now, and I agree with it. Comeback kid is better now than he was before. I mean, he has come all the way back and then some. Well, I appreciate the intellect on your part because it's indisputable and why I make a point that can be disputed. You're very, very wise not to do that, Max Kellerman. I'm very proud of you. But in the end, here's the bottom line. He's exceeded all expectations. He's going about doing the things the right way. He's expanded his skills in the pro-am. Everybody has noticed that's a very, very yeah. big deal. So I'm very happy about it, that. It is. So far be it for me to agree with you. But look, there were questions heading in. There were skeptics who had these questions, and I think at this point, it is safe to say that this is NBA ready. You know NBA ready when you see it, you saw it, this is NBA ready. He's got a mentor in James Harden now from what I'm hearing. Scouts and general managers in the NBA have been lauding his talents. They say that this kid is real, he's, re he's ready, he's legit. So when we look at it from that perspective, the next thing up is the NBA scouting combine. He performs on that level. Obviously, that's a big deal. Now, we'll all be watching. We'll wait to see what happens. But guess what? We wouldn't be able to watch you if you weren't invited. So the fact that you were invited is a big deal and major props on for that. And we will be there. ESPN will be there from Chicago updating our live ESPN mock drafts. It will be an interesting several days in the Windy City.